Hewlett-Packard has filed a lawsuit against its ex-CEO, Mark Hurd, who just took a job as co-president at rival Oracle. Last month, Hurd resigned from HP over expense account irregularities. It's just the latest twist in what is becoming an ongoing corporate saga that many expect to continue for some time. Boston University professor James Post. I would predict that there's another, another vivid chapter yet to come. I think that it's uh, given all the twists and turns to the, to the HP story and the Oracle story already. Um, who could doubt that there will be another uh, unexpected turn in the uh, in the weeks ahead? President Obama is promoting his latest stimulus plan, a $50 billion infrastructure overhaul. The news had Wall Street talking. Bernie McSherry of Cotone and Company. You know, I think longer term it's probably a positive thing. We all recognize that infrastructure around this country uh, is weak and, and needs to be uh, beefed up and certainly uh, spending on, on technology and perhaps high-speed rail lines and things like that would be a good thing. But, you know, this proposal has been floating around in one shape or another for the, probably the last nine months or so, and I, I suspect that the Republican leadership in the, in the Congress is probably reluctant to give President Obama any kind of a win. Obama is also proposing new tax cuts for businesses. Google says it is planning to launch a free TV service in the U.S. this fall. The announcement comes less than a week after Apple unveiled its latest version of Apple TV. U.S. regulators are looking into practices called, quote, stuffing, according to the Securities and Exchange Commission. That's where large numbers of rapid-fire stock orders are placed and then almost immediately canceled. The SEC is also still looking into the cause of the May 6th flash crash. U.S. stocks gave up ground in Tuesday's session, ending a four-day winning streak, in part because of concerns over European banks. Over in Europe, a two-week rally came to a halt over similar concerns. Bobby Rebell, Reuters. At GE Capital, we're out there every day. We climb like Jeff Blue. Financing their fleet, sharing our expertise, and working with people who are changing the face of business in America. After 25 years in the aviation business, I kind of feel like if you're not having fun at what you do, then you've got the wrong job. My landing was better than yours. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. What's not? Yes, it was. What do you think? Take one of the big ones out? Nah.